of Judah. Most of the time when I see people fail in a sport, it's not because they're not capable. It's usually their life becomes unbalanced off the mat and then it boils onto the mat, including our mental attitude. And a lot of times it's our mental attitude that makes us afraid to go and compete. How many people here are afraid to compete? Let me tell you this right now. Only stupid people are not afraid. Everybody should be afraid when they're engaging in a fight. A little bit of fear is going to keep you sharp. There can be no bravery without fear. You have to be brave and just. And the problem that most people have, and I'm going to tell you that 99% of competitors are worried about what everybody else thinks if they lose a match. What if I fail? Those people don't matter. Those that mind, that, those that mind don't matter. And those that matter don't mind. They're still going to be, uh, they're still going to be in your uh, corner, no matter whether you win or lose. Our race has to be with ourselves. Our battle that we face every day has to be with ourselves. It's not you against somebody else. Too many people are worried about what everybody else thinks. Uh, am I better than that guy? Am I better than this person? How did that? Forget all that. If you want to become a competitor, you want to become a good competitor, worry about getting just a little bit better every single day. Am I better than I was yesterday? If you can do that every single day for elongated periods of time, you will become great. Too many people worry about the guy beside them. You have to be worried about the guy inside you or the girl inside you. And what is good for you? What is wholesome for you? What is going to propel you to go forward? A lot of people think, oh, I need motivation. That's bullshit. You don't need motivation. You need dedication. Because I, I, I don't know any champion that wants to go to practice every single day. I don't know them. I don't think they exist. But the dedication, the discipline, that's what's going to keep you going and going forward and getting better every single day. The person that can just put their head down and not worry about the rest of the crowd, what they're thinking. The person that can think positive every single time they get knocked on that floor. I've been knocked on the floor enough times. I've gone through my share. I'm not telling you something that I haven't done myself. And it's really hard. But if you want to become a great competitor, you can. It all relies on what your desires are. And then your ability to not worry about what anybody else is thinking. Lose the fear of losing, and you'll become good. I didn't say you have to like losing. I hate losing. I hate it. But I also love to win. You have to, learn to, you have to want to love to win as much as you hate losing. Most importantly, I just keep going forward. I just keep getting a little bit better every single day. Not just as a judoka, but as a person. When you have a life that's well-rounded, and you're able to keep everything in perspective, you're going to stay away from booze, you're going to stay away from partying, you're going to stay away from the things that are going to distract you from becoming the best that you can possibly be. You just keep your eye on that goal. You think positive every single day, no matter what, regardless. And you have to force yourself to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going. You have to say, I can do this, no matter what. I don't care how many times it takes to get something right. You just keep doing it until you do it. I love what I've seen in this. I'm so proud of all of what he's created. He's about the only person that could get me out of Rhode Island to come to a job. <laughs> and I'm proud to be here. And I thank you all for attending. And um, hopefully I see you all on the mat sooner rather than later. Anything you want to say? I think you said it all. Okay. I think.